To begin your flannel toilet paper, you will need one piece of 5 inch by 17 inch long flannel. Fold this in half, and then you are going to pin a few sections of this so that you know where to start and stop. We're doing something that's called bagging out, and so we are going to have the right sides together and about two inches from the turned edge of either side of one of the long edges of your flannel. You will put double pins so that you know where to start and stop, and then put one pin in the middle of the other two sides. Using a 1 quarter inch seam allowance, stitch from the first turned edge to your two pins, beginning and ending with the back stitch. Hop right over that opening, leave it open, begin with the back stitch, stitch forward, keep your needle in the machine to pivot, go to each corner using that quarter inch seam allowance again, and then once you get to the very end of the flannel, you will end with a back stitch. After this, you will clip the threads that you had for that opening, as well as the four corners. This will make it so that it's not bulky in the corner edges of your toilet paper. Next, find the opening and turn your piece of toilet paper right side out. After that, you will either need a chopstick, a popsicle stick, a point turner, uh, the end of a paintbrush, nothing that's too sharp but that is a little bit pointed to get the corners out so that the corners are nice and propped out. After that, you will use a little technique where you roll the seam back to press it flat and then roll it forward so that you can get flat edges on the long and short edges of your flannel toilet paper. If you have it, you can change your presser foot out to an edge foot and then move the needle position all the way over to the left and then we're just going to be top stitching around the entire edge and this will also close that opening that you had to turn the fabric right side out. Pivot out all of your corners and you'll use an eighth of an inch of seam allowance here for the top stitching. And once you've gone all the way around, you'll simply clip your threads and what you have left is now the equivalent of two very soft squares of toilet paper.